And we, we are on your home turf. Um, we are in the beautiful state of New Jersey. Um, and we have stayed in Princeton. Now we are in Trenton. And you are a state senator from this beautiful state. And you're part of our project. I'm so happy to be here. Welcome to the State House of New Jersey. It's been a, just a, a great week, a really interesting week to talk with people, not just from Germany, but from the United States, from both parties, from states that have such different challenges, whether it's West Virginia and coal, and what are they going to do as they transition away from coal, or Florida and flooding, New Jersey, where we're building lots of offshore wind. It's been just great. And then on the German side, to hear from not just the different parties, the different regions of the country, the similar challenges, yet different. And so how can we work together to do something about the climate crisis has been just a really wonderful conversation. You are a scientist, and um, sometimes it's still disputed if there actually is climate change, and if it is human-made. Um, you would strongly disagree with us, right? Um, what are you telling people who don't believe in climate change? So, you know, a couple things. First of all, the scientific consensus is clear, but it's true. You know, people sometimes will go, well, wait a minute, it's snowing outside, it's cold. Why are you telling me that every year is warmer than the year before? And I get that because it's a complicated, complicated subject. So it's really up to scientists and elected officials to help explain it to people in a way, not just that people can understand, but the way people feel comfortable with. I don't know if we've done the best job at that in the past. We're getting better, but that's what we have to continue to do. Part of our conversation with uh, both American and German legislators has been on this, how best to communicate, because it is a crisis. We have to act, and making these changes needs the support of the public. If the public doesn't believe it's a crisis, then the support won't be there. So we have to make sure we're doing both, put together good public policy, but also a good communications plan. And that's been part of really just a delightful conversation we've had. And from your point of view, what would be a good uh, policy mix to address the crisis? Well, I work on fusion energy, so of course I have to first say, let's make sure we develop fusion energy. Um, you know, I think it's a couple of things. We have to figure out how to handle the price, the costs of moving to a green economy. Because in the long term, it's less expensive to have renewable energy, to have less pollution. But it costs money up front to make that transition. And so we want to make sure that that money is available, and especially for people of lower eco economic means, because we want to make sure that our vulnerable communities are not left behind. That's not an easy thing to do from a public policy perspective, but I think we can. And so ensuring that we can do this in a smooth way, one that is a fair way, is really what we have to have a discussion about and how we have to move quickly as we do that. During this week, um, you discussed that issue with uh, your German colleagues, but also with representatives from all parties, from with Republicans, the Greens from Germany, the SPD, the CDU. Um, what do you take home from this experience? We have to communicate. We go into our little corners all the time and say, we know better than you. But the reality is, We tend to agree much more than we disagree, but it takes sitting down, which is what we've done over the last week, sitting down and having these conversations. And sometimes these conversations are not comfortable. Sometimes these conversations can be very difficult. But when we have that, what we find is, okay, we can agree on so much, so let's work on that part to start, and then we're going to figure out these other pieces as we go down this path. That's been so valuable. For somebody who has never been in New Jersey and has just one day, um, a few hours, what should that person really see and do? Oh my goodness, there's so much to see and do. I would say we have such beautiful beaches. Go to our beaches, but while you're there walking on our board boardwalk, have a slice of New Jersey pizza and maybe a bagel, because we have the best pizza and bagels in the world. And you shared the bagels with us. Um, thank you so much for being part of our project. Thank you. It's been just a great week. Thanks for having me.